good one, babe. <laughs> hey, all, welcome. Welcome to our March 2024 live stream, our finals of the Bourbon Madness Tournament this year. We'll talk later. We'll talk later in the video, but I got some ideas for next year already. Okay. And I want to throw them past everybody out there to see what they think about it. But Trent's buying the camera just for the moment. He's just making sure all of the electronics that I set up and that I, I, I had going back there, everything's going to be fine. So he'll be back there just for a couple minutes. Yeah, he's so. got a keyboard here. I said I could fix anything he wanted back here, but <laughs> he made sure he doesn't keep, want me to. You know, he made sure to say <laughs> keep your hands off of it, what he said, but... Kent, while you're up here, I have to ask you, how do you feel that the tournament went? Well, individually or together or however you want to say it. Trent and I really haven't even talked about it much at all. Very, very little. I, we really don't have any idea what our bottles are that are in the final four. So I have really, I just got back from Myrtle Beach yeah. a few days ago. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so, I, and in Myrtle Beach, there's just no time. You know, you get up, you eat, you go to golf, you come back, you eat, and you, you know, it's just nonstop. Um, so, there's not a lot of time to do it. So, I've crammed the last couple of days and got through them all. And honestly, um, for the most part, there's some that I probably would have guessed differently, but I could see as a flip of a coin, I could see why you'd go the other yeah, way or yeah. whatever. And there's really. And Jay, if you're watching, I know you know which one I'm talking about. You were probably like, what in the heck? <laughs> There's one that's completely shocked. Now you're talking about? One choice. Trenton? That was a Trenton. Mine. It was oh, a Trenton. Okay, okay. okay. Not and for her? No. Not, oh, that, okay. not that I was completely shocked by. Oh, oh. Really? There's some I might have picked if I did a bracket, which wow. I didn't. But if I did a bracket, there's a couple I know I would have picked differently for you. Oh, wow. Okay. But All I right. wasn't shocked that it went the other way. Interesting. There's only one that... I'm sure the bulk of the community went, what the heck? <laughs> I was pretty amazed by that one. If I, if I busted your bracket as a result, please like, type in the chat. I'm not reading it, but I just feel like But that's really the only one that I could say yeah. was obvious. Really? Um, well, I know there's a lot of good bottles in there. You know, there's a lot of good bottles in the tournament, and there was some that are just shelfers, you yeah. know, but... Good quality <clears throat> shelfers. And actually, there was a shelfer or two that I was surprised made it as long as it did. Good. Uh, well, that, I think that's good. And, yeah, not a bad thing at all. No. Um, mm -mm. And really only one particular um, allocated bottle that I was surprised that it made it through a couple rounds. But I was surprised you guys weren't as, you know, raving about it. Okay. It was like, well, this is better for tonight, but it wasn't like, wow. Uh, you know, you it's know. weird. I, I, <clears throat> when we go through the wrap-up video, and we always do a wrap-up video with Kent, he takes notes. He's got his little book back there, and, and he'll be drilling us with questions, specific questions, because after the tournament, of course, we'll know what bottles and what rounds and everything else. But And I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for Trenton, but I know specifically there was one video, so there would be two rounds that I just didn't feel real confident in my tasting. As, as you know, being yeah. a whiskey drinker as long as you have, I'm sure there's night you say nights you say, just, well, I'll have an house before I go to bed you. or whatever. Not and then you start right. sipping and you're like, yeah, it's I'm just, just not done there. because yeah, I no, can't. I, yeah, I get it. And and I remember that video. Um, do you? Okay. Where I could tell. Because you, you, you know me well, so yeah. I had a puzzled look in my face, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> like a lost, lost it, puppy. It happens. I mean, sometimes... Yeah. Sometimes it's food. Sometimes mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what you eat or don't eat. Yes. You know, it just happens sometimes. 100%. And I, <clears> and I <throat> learned on the very first Bourbon Madness tournament about the food thing because I got really thrown off badly. Because of certain things on one, you ate yeah, or And I, I had something. What was the honey that I had? Like something spicy? Wasn't it a spicy something or the first one? It was something and yeah. it completely threw me off. So during this tournament, I've really tried to focus on not eating anything past 1 or 2 o'clock because Trent and I usually film somewhere around 5, 6 o'clock. I can see uh, spicy stuff doing that, but I could also, I always think uh, sweets. Mm. Completely change things for yeah, me. That's where I get in trouble. Uh, yeah, <laughs> me too, Trent. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Uh, if you have certain sweets and then try to drink, all you're getting is that sweet note. Yeah, you know, well, that's or, true. Uh, or it magnifies yeah. a sweet note or whatever. Yeah. So <clears throat> for all the for all of you out there that are watching tonight, if you do a blind and if you have some friends over and you're really excited and you're just not really 
seeming like you're on top of things. It's normal. It happens, it's yeah. natural. It happens. You know, it's like a baseball player. You know, you're not going to be on your game every, you know, on your have your best game every single day you play. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. So just do the best you can. I can confidently say, Kent, that I push forward what I was enjoying the most every single time. Sure. And I was truthful and honest sure. with myself. And that's sure. really all I can do. The best round I had was this last video. I don't know what two specific bottles those were, but that was my best round of the whole tournament. And I kind of wish those two bottles were in the finals. Yeah. But obviously, yeah, there's a couple I didn't see them that way. There was a couple times I can tell, uh, and you guys even said it a couple times, that you were like, gosh, I hate to knock one of these out, you know, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, that's the way it, yeah. way it goes. All right. One more subject real quick before <clears throat> Trent comes up. I want to talk just for a second. Uh, we have organized a charity golf outing that's going to be here in Valparaiso played at the Aberdeen golf course on April the <clears throat> excuse me April the 24th right trying to have my glass on May 24th my bad I wrote it down as April so that's my mistake huh. which is a Friday I believe right that's Memorial Day I believe and yeah. we should rephrase that Jay's done a lot yep. and Jay if you're watching now yep. that I'm back from Myrtle I'll be contacting you this weekend and we'll sit down and uh, I did work on some things um that i'll share with you and and uh anyway i need to jump in now i i haven't had much time yeah. and yeah. jay's uh done pretty awesome getting things going that's for sure yeah well that's why jay was <clears throat> unable to be here today because of uh vacation plans with oh. his family so he's out of town he may or may not be watching he, he texted earlier today and he may be on a little bit here and there but yeah you no know, their time is limited because they're on vacation so that's kind of why i wanted you up here for a minute too because you know a little bit more than i do about it but kent's right jay is is just an alliance yeah, he's been share he's been of work to try to promote this and try yeah. to get all the work <clears throat> done he's done a fantastic and you job. know as as uh the guys have done with the october to uh shows um, you know, benefiting Riley's. Uh, this one is a suicide awareness benefit, and that's something that's uh, hit home to us. It's hit home to friends of ours. Yes, we know multiple people that have have dealt with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you know sometimes it's a, a subject hard hard talked about, mm -hmm. or people don't want to talk about. Yeah. Um, but guaranteed, most people know somebody that's been affected by it, right. and it's a it's a big, a big topic, and and needs to be up more up front and center, absolutely, and openly talked about, yeah, um, absolutely, you know, to help people that yes. are going through a rough time. Yeah, I, I can't agree more with that, and that was well spoken. I I just wanted to mention it for tonight. I'm sure Trent and I in the in in very near future videos that we're going to have. We're going to probably put some something in the description about the tournament and things like that. Oh, yeah. We've opened it up to our patrons first, whoever wanted to join. How many people do you say? 144? <clears throat> well, you know, the goal is, and anybody out there that's done a lot of scrambles, 144, that's two teams per hole. Um, that is in the hopes of raising the most money possible. Mm. Um, but it's also... Um, a, bi a big day. Uh, yeah. There's a six-hour window for the golf. Uh, it's a long day, and we may or may not get that many people. Yeah. Uh, but that's the max that yeah. we could have. Okay. And just so you know, too, um, we've talked about it. You know, I golf all the time. I can put a team together like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I got guys that I golf with. But ringers. I myself, um, <laughs> and there'll be a few of us like this, I think, that, you know, if you're by yourself and you want to play, yeah. and you want to be here, Absolutely. Sign up. Yeah. If there's uh, people with, you know, missing a person or two to make a team, um, that's what I'm going to be for. Uh, I've got friends that can fill in, Absolutely. you know, fill up teams at the end. Um, so mm -hmm. we'll fit in wherever, yeah. uh, we'll figure it, wherever out. it works out. So the long and short of it all, just, just for tonight, I just wanted to throw it out there so it's in your mind. May 24th, the date. Uh, there will be some openings. There definitely will be some openings. And, and coming here real soon, Trent and I will... Speak about it in a video, and we'll have some information in the description on who to reach out to or how to sign up if you are interested. I in would that. like to say one more thing. Sure, yeah, go right I ahead. I talked about it uh, at one point, mm -hmm. um, and on the flyer that Trent will make available somehow uh, mm -hmm. for you guys to see at some point, um, Jay's the contact. Um, everything's kind of funneling through him, so at least there's, there's one person 
keeping track of who's who and how many people we have and what the details are and where we're at. Mm -hmm. But if, if it's something, uh, you know, if you are doing it and you have somebody you want to recognize that you've lost. Absolutely. Email them a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure uh, it's somewhere. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's awesome because we need to do that. We need to remember the people that were in our yeah. lives that were affected by suicide, and it's an awful, an awful time to go through, and it's, it's, it happens more than, than anyone even realizes most of the time, and, and, and it's just a shame. It's just a downright shame, and uh, I know there is the folks that have been touched with suicide, I'm sure, wished you could reach out to that individual at the right time, sure, sure. you know, and, and let them know how much Absolutely. you love them and how important yeah. they are to Absolutely. you and your family. And, and so it's, it, I'm gonna, I will promise you this, as Trent and I always do, and Kent knows this too, he's part of the family, 100% of the proceeds are going to go to suicide awareness. Yeah. Nothing's going to go in our pockets whatsoever. So I, I will guarantee you that. So. Thanks, Kent. Yeah. I appreciate it. Do I have to give up these to try? Um, I know you're probably yeah, you're sure. sniffing them up here. You get them aromas coming I out. I did smell you, both of you. You kind of wish uh, you'd be up here, but yeah, 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 yeah. You got a good line of them okay. here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kent. All right, buddy. I guess we're good to go. You're front and center now, dude. You're going to have to. I know I'm, a, I'm kind of a big deal around these parts. I'm going <laughs> to hit the applause sound effect just for my entrance. You know? Um, what did I get? <laughs> Nothing. So I, I kind of forgot. So you're you're trying to tell me you don't know if I know this or not, but you're kind of a big deal. Kind of, kind of. In in some in some parts, yeah. I see. Um, so I see. what's going to be happening? And I might have to to step back there at some point, but um, we will have the what we're currently tasting on the. I don't know. I'm looking at the TV like I'm the. Like you're going to see it pop up? No, I, I'm. I got to <laughs> talk to the camera instead. Um, that's not easy to do. You haven't been back no. here to do that, have you? Uh, With what you've rigged up here I don't think us. so, not yet. No, you have not. So Michelle's going to be entering in what we're both tasting. I know I've I've heard a couple... Co what? Bear with me. It's going to be tough. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, she, this is a new thing for both of us, so we might have to do a little fiddling around, and in real time we're going to do it live. So um, it'll, it'll be interesting. Hopefully it goes over okay, and we'll try to be... We'll try to be as professional as possible in this book. You know, we're not. Just, I just I click buttons on my laptop all day for fun and and uh, and all that fun stuff. Um, before we get started, though, we're gonna read a few comments that way Michelle can start typing up what we're what we're tasting. Uh, so Robert Sheard uh, said, I see that. "Pages and pores." So mention him for him because. Robert, I, I'm there just... There we go. Oh, that's, wow, okay, that's better. That's better. Robert, I really, really like his format of his YouTube channel right now. I'm really into it. I watch every show that comes out. Pages and pours. Robert is an avid reader. Bro, I'm just going to tell you something. I watched, you know, once a week he kind of gives a recap of what he's read through the week. Like he pulls out like four yeah. books. A week? Yes, and I know... I've I know read what four Robert, books in my life. I know what Robert says. He's retired. <laughs> So keep that in mind, but still, am I right, honey? I mean, that's you're, he's pulling out like four books. I mean, my wife Robert is, I would is love to do that. is an avid reader as well, and so. But he also has he also does uh, uh, whiskey shows too, and I, I I really like the way you've formatted your channel. So if you want to check him out, it's oh, on no. pages and pours. No, I fixed it. We're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's he say? Do one turn him, but but include three judges. Yeah. So does that mean, ooh, that's an interesting idea. So it'd be like me, you, and Kent, and then we try it, and we vote which one out of the two should go forward? He said um, that it'll also uh, kill any tiebreakers. So That's true. I think that's brilliant. That's a good idea. Yeah. What I want to do, too, I'll say it right now. What I want to do is kind of extend the tournament a little bit, too, and put in a loser's bracket, Kent, oh. to where you can fight your way back, back into it cool. in a loser's cool. bracket. I really want to try to do that too because and when I thought about it was what I just told you about that last tasting I had was was the best I had all tournament I knew I had to kick one out of the final four it was heartbreaking but in a sense that would go to the losers bracket and have a chance to work its way back in yeah dear sorry <clears throat> um, am I putting a and b at the same time on the screen um, I would just do a and b because it came, I tried tested it. It kind of cuts off quite a bit with the size of the font. Oh, so A, A and A, and then B and B. 
So we'll do A, and then okay, if you sorry. just want to clear it and then put B up, sorry. Okay. That's okay. Um, let, I always forget how to say this. Lawnoma, uh, $20, <laughs> wishing everybody in the SLB family happy Easter. You too. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, uh, you. We're going to be at Kent's tomorrow. We're going to be at uh, Bushy's on Sunday. It's going yeah. to be a busy weekend. It's going to be busy. There's going to be, uh, be about 40 people on Sunday at Easter, and it's supposed to rain. So <laughs> <laughs> we're excited. Rebecca is excited. Hope you have a good weekend, too. Yeah. Uh, Steve Anzel, $20. Love the charity you are promoting. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. We, this is the first we've done it this year. Who knows? We might make it another annual thing like, like yeah. our Riley's one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mike uh, Gilligan, $10. No no message, but thank you, Mike. Uh, no, sorry, Mark. Uh, thank you, Mark. No message. Man, this is chaos already. Um, ooh, that's a lot of spaces in that name. Yes. Molenleib? Yeah. yeah. Let's go with that. $20. Lost a very close Navy buddy almost 10 years ago to suicide. Mm-hmm. And he goes on to say, you know, and I appreciate this from him. Just know this, no matter what you think, you are not alone somewhere Someone, somewhere, loves you and things will get better. Please don't give up. Very well spoken and an outstanding statement. So thank you for that. That's, thank you. That's fantastic. Phil Billy, he's watching the show with Caden. Donated $20. Thank you, Phil Billy. Well, that's a hard one. So, I, you know, sometimes you like this TV that you put up here, and sometimes it kind of shocks you. So I apologize for my, for my pause. But... <clears throat> one of our one of our patrons, one of our faithful followers of our YouTube channel for the long time, and we affectionately call him Bottled and Bond Don. He's got an affinity with Bottled and Bond whiskeys and, and bourbons, and I'm sure he has plenty of them at home. But uh, we need to throw out a prayer and some good thoughts to Don right now. He lost his mother this morning. And that is extremely sad news, Don, and, and we're very apologetic for that. We love you, buddy. And um, it's just something that uh, we all have to go through eventually. And it's never easy. Uh, Ken and I lost our dad in 1997. It wasn't easy then. It's not easy now. So um, God bless you, Don. We'll be praying for you and we'll be thinking about you, pal. Thank you for, for stepping on here with us, too. So hopefully this will He's be, on here? Mm-hmm. Hopefully this uh, live stream will, will uh, help juvenate you a little bit and, you know, Pick you up. I'll, pick try, you up a little I'll bit. try and be extra silly tonight. Let's I don't think see. you need to try hard for that. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't. You're right. Uh, my good friend, Phil Billy, my son Caden and I are watching together. Love uh, love you guys for all you do. Uh, prayers always for your families. Thank you, buddy. Uh, glad you're watching with your son. Hopefully you and your son aren't drinking because I think your son is rather young. <laughs> don't be doing uh, that. And don't then we got Matt C. with a uh, $5 donation, no message. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Thank you. See, isn't this nice? We can just fire these off and we're going to go. You and your, you and your gadgets. Go, How are we doing with that? Go, go gadget, so Trent. When I, I'm trying to edit both of them, right? One under Kurt and one under uh-huh. you. And when I edit one, it's changing both. Mm. Even though you're not tasting the same thing. Can you remove one of them and just put like yeah. Kurt's a? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Sorry, okay. it's just gonna take me a minute. Okay. Just vamp for another minute. Um, <laughs> ooh, you. we can do that. I can't look at the chat either because I think some some people might be. You can't look at the chat. Uh, That's hard to do, isn't it, Trent? You really want to, don't you, to see what's going on? And it's it's honestly been tough because I I mentioned this several times in the video, but Michelle will be. I'll edit the first half, um, and then I'll leave in placeholders for her to do the. Yeah. What? Walker said you look handsome tonight, Trent. I'm glad you were able to join us, bud. (laughs) Sad you couldn't be down here. I have a question. Uh oh. Because I was talking, I was messaging Bucky. You know our friend Bucky? The Vampire Slayer, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he was all amped up. Is about... that Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> I have no, no idea. That... No? Oh. He was all amped up about, yep. you know, the, the Final Four and the tournament and all that stuff. And he was rifling messages. You know, it's one of those things where I can only get out one and he gets four. It was one of those. Well, you don't type but, very fast. <laughs> it's true. That's why, yeah. It, but he mentioned he's got a group together that's going to be watching and they're excited about it. So I'm just curious to know how many folks out there watch with a group? You oh, know, yeah. are you just are you just on yeah. your phone and, and yeah. sitting in your easy chair or do you have a group of people and you have it on the TV? Lord knows I wouldn't know how to get it on the TV, but. <laughs> I can teach you. 
Or maybe you're hanging in that liquor store in California that plays it all That's right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Was it you that maybe. posted you were watching the live stream in a bar know. and you I told him? Yeah, well. <laughs> it was uh, on a Michigan golf trip. I made him put it on the bar. Um, yeah, that's just for me. I was just curious about it. I, I'd be interested to know, too. Yeah. Uh, we got Josh Miller, $10, Scotch Blind Josh, hoping for a Scotch Madness someday. We talked about doing me too. a, when we do barrel picks for, for our patrons on Patreon, we, we talked about doing a, like a, a barrel pick, or a madness for our barrel picks that we've done. Mm-hmm. We might be doing that in April. <sighs> I could take your place in the sky. If if <laughs> if it was single malts that sure. were non peated, I could I could do it at this point. I think that'd actually be kind of fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I do. I can't. That. I, I can't do the peated, and it's not now like it's like a repulsive kind of thing. I just taste it. And I'm like, man, this really. It's all I can alley. get it's is the smoke and That's the right. peat. There were single malts a little while ago. That's true. Not too awful long ago, we didn't like single malts either. Hey, Kent. So maybe next year he'll be, let's do a scotch. <laughs> the very first peated scotch that I opened, I hated. But now I like them. Was that? No. Because yeah. I know, well, I know you got the High West Campfire and you dumped it down the drain. <laughs> I still don't like the High West Campfire, though. No, I got another just one not, just to see. It's just not for me. It's just no, I think it's in the back of the cat. In the well, that was quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, maybe we'll do a Scotch Madness. Thank you, Josh. I think I figured it out, so we're just gonna roll with it. (laughs) Okay. I'm gonna hope so. Cross all of our fingers. Let Michelle know how she did in the comment. I can't look at the chat, otherwise I will know what we're tasting, and I don't want to do that. All right. Um, Let her rip. (laughs) John Alexander, I think this is the John that we met in Kent's basement. Oh no. Um, Oh, I'm sure it is. Great guy. Thank you, John. No message, but it was a pleasure meeting you. If that's if I'm right. Oh my god. I think I did it. Keith, thank you for your $5 donation, buddy. Excited about tonight's show. So am I. It worked? Okay. It worked. <gasps> All right. <clears throat> hey, honey, how many people have said they have groups? Anybody yet? Um, a lot of people are watching with the family or yeah. the, their spouse. Yeah, okay. Bill Billy Neat. said, no fear. Uh, the son is drinking water. Okay, good. good. <laughs> get, that, get him a Mountain Dew or something. This is a special night. <laughs> <Don't go. laughs> You started with Abe. Got some people watching with the dog. Oh, One yeah. thing that I would be interested to know, too, how many of you are, are watching and you're, like, into bourbon, but oh, no. whoever you're watching oh, with oh. is not, and they're watching and they don't know what's actually going on? I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be curious about right. that, too. <laughs> like, imagine mom's watching. There's probably watching. quite a few spouse, you know, spouse yeah. situations yeah. It's like that on Yeah. Because I know, like, Holly and, and her husband, I, I, Tim, I think. Sorry. Holly, I keep looking at the TV. See, quit. Stop. <laughs> um, you can't see the... the no, I just, have, I just have the donation sheet oh, up there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. keeps looking to try to see comments like he normally oh, would. Oh, right, right. Because he's usually good? sitting there. Um, back is there. this good? Do you like whatever A is? I didn't taste either one. No, but do you like it? You Have oh. you had it? Oh, yeah. I, what do you think? The, uh, <laughs> the uh, final four that you guys both have, I like them all, so... Mm-hmm. Wow. It's a bit nutty, I think. <laughs> it's a bit nutty. It's a bit nutty. Is that Austin Powers? Yes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I do know that. I've never wow. seen Austin Powers. I don't know what that's from. I think in our Discord, a lot of people post that gif. It's like, that's nutty or whatever. And you I don't want to know it's gross. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You won't like your morning coffee any longer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I do yeah. drink that a lot. Yeah. What? <laughs> Chris Angle, five dollars. Much S, much SLB fam. Uh, Trenton busted Roy's bracket, and he's not happy about it. <laughs> oh, <You know>? man. <laughs> I I wish Roy the best. I wish that he. I wish he went all the way with his bracket. I really do. Of course. He might not like me, but I got nothing against him. <laughs> Chris, the one round. I'm surprised he didn't break everybody's bracket. Oh. I just. <laughs> I spelled this very wrong. That's fine. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> Glanced at it. <laughs> I'm a ding dong. Oh God! Let's see, I, you know, okay. taste, I only smelled yours, Trenton. I tasted it or smelled them both, nosed them both. You got a tough decision there based on nose. Yeah, either, I'm, there I kind of took a quick whiff of all of them, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be fun. It's I, gonna be fun. That was the first sip down the hatch for me. So as I say that all the time, but it is. I mean, I, I, Every time I take that first sip, man, it's a slow roller um, coming down. You can feel the burn. My uh, first pour tonight when I got here is 131.1. <laughs> yeah, you did. And you I did. wasn't thinking. I took you a nice did. big swig. It was like, Whoo. You did. 
<laughs> I think I know what A might be. Are we learning? Are we learning what we tasted tonight? Or are we saving that for the video on Monday? I no, can't remember. We got to learn. Last year. We got to learn tonight. Yeah, it we, was in the final four. We did last Not time. Not the whole tournament. What was in the final four? You learn. Okay. You know, final four and what you picked, and then we'll uh, Sorry. go through. You yeah, delete all the. Just <laughs> keep your hands off the track. I just, I just with my left hand. It just <laughs> touched it. That's all it did. Oh. I've made so many mistakes where I'm smelling. And I will breathe right into the glass. And then I just... I brush my teeth, but it doesn't smell very good. Oh. <laughs> Was that necessary? <laughs> I mean... Huh? Wow. Yeah. Michelle, take a nose. There's been a lot of unnecessary. Yeah, animals. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's really, really good. Trenton, this on mine, is, this is on mine, gonna be rough. On A, at least... <clears throat> I get some butterscotch, I get some maple, and it's even it's even going through for me into some kind of a dates, you know, like dates or a real rich raisin note. Not quite raisin, but like if you had some real rich type of a raisin on the palate, even dates possibly. Really, really wild. Well I know we're not tasting the same thing. Mine tastes like a like a cherry eraser. <laughs> off off the end of a pencil. <laughs> And it's, it's really nice. But it, it oh, it's like you ate the whole pencil because it's a little woody. It's not like lead or anything. That's really good. But it's, it's really nice. This is going to be tough. Is that what you were doing in school? Was eating the pencils? Oh, yeah, because the, like the Ticonderogas or whatever, yeah. they have that like sheathing that holds the eraser to the The metal piece? Shaft. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I would just bite that and then I would just... Stuart that explains a lot. How are you doing, Stuart? The Wondering Whiskey Bar. Check him out on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. He's a good friend of mine. Helps us with a lot of bottles, too. Working on this year's Riley Charity Raffle Bottle donations already. Thank you for that, Stuart. Ooh. He helped out a lot with uh, donation bottles last year as well. So thank you for that, Stuart. Yeah, actually, kind of to, to kind of piggyback off what you said, we were just at MGP on, what is today, Friday? Is that Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Um, and we did, we ended up picking a barrel for the charity event this year yep. for Riley's. Yeah. It, it is a Which ride. And it's, it's an eight year ride. Absolutely yeah. incredible. An eight year ride. So a whole, a whole barrel pick. Yeah. So we hope it's going to be close to about 200 bottles, but yeah, of course you don't know that, but we we'll hope see. it's going to be 180 to 200 bottles, you know, and all for the charity event. And we'll get that organized. You know, for Riley's, we'll get yeah. that organized later. But that's super exciting. And this will be the first year we've had. I mean, last year we had 50 bottles donated by all the good folks that watch our channel and wanted to help contribute to a good cause. Yeah. Marty Burpin. Um, but this year, I mean, we'll have some of those, and we'll also have some some stuff for the barrel pick. And I think we'll probably utilize some like Unicorn Auctions or one of our online distribution partners. Maybe like um, I have a couple in mind. Um, but I think it'll be really cool. A lot, give a lot more people the chance to do it. We don't know if we're going to toss those into the main pool um, or if it's going to be like we'll set up kind of an auction thing for the bottles on that end and then we'll do a raffle on the other end. We still yeah. got to figure that out. But we still yeah. got like nine months. So oh, yeah, we got some time. But we always we always think ahead on a lot of these things for Riley's uh, charity. Outing. And we, we talked about doing a live event somewhere in like an amphitheater. Mm -hmm. Um. So we'll see. That, Kent, did you hear what he said? No, I didn't. Check it. Uh, that that would be so much fun. Oh. So much fun. I just caught a, <clears throat> something about a, a venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh. <clears throat> I'd, have, um, I'd have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. That'd, that'd be, be awesome. great. I don't even know how to begin setting that up. We need, like, an event planner. Yeah. Babe? <laughs> Jake, thank you for the $10 donation. Thank you so much. Cheers to y'all in the community enjoying some rye. That's all being a great basketball games. There are some good basketball games going on right now, and I have been checking them. I have been checking up on the scores. Uh, out of all the teams that are left, I probably I would say have to say Purdue is closest to us. There you go. If there's That's NBA, bro. He's talking about college, the NCAA well, tournament. Who want Dude, I hate sports. I'm just going to close that window. There's like six <laughs> other sure. games happening, though. I don't know if they're playing tonight, the NCAA. So I don't know either, to tell you the truth. But I have been checking the scores. Yeah, go Nets. Looking for the upsets. Go Nets. Good grief. John Herps, four, $5. Thanks, Michelle. And text, texted. Texted. Basis. SLB fam. 
I, I think he later said John. he was doing dishes and his oh. finger was wet. <laughs> Good deal. John Alexander, you, John. again, with $5 Kent's Basement is the bomb. <laughs> yes, it is. John Dilly, 1974, $10. I can't believe you tricked Trent tonight by giving him a scotch and glass. Hey. <laughs> this is true. Mark Gillikin, again, thank you so much, Mark. $20. Thanks, Trent, for calling out the donation. I have a brother, Mike, who passed away in September from suicide. Man. It happens more than you think. Sorry yeah, to hear that, Mark. Mike was great karma, man. That's just, that's just, it's heartbreaking. It really is. So God oh, bless wow. you, Mark. God bless you, Mark. I want to get a little teary eye reading that one. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, uh, no doubt. You got all these other ones, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is incredibly difficult. Lenoma, uh, gifted eight SLB drinks memberships. Five. Thank you. Five. Five, sorry. Wow. We'll I need to go to bed. <laughs> it's been a long morning. Yes, it has. We had a little bit of... <laughs> Maybe. Had a bit of a mishap last night during the edit. It was nobody's fault. <laughs> I was editing it. It was like... And this is my fault because I edit very, very late at night. It was probably 11 or 12 I started editing. And mom usually sends Michelle for these, the key uh, for what we tasted and what ended up moving forward and everything. Yeah. So I'm sitting down and I asked Michelle, you know, can you um, can you edit these here shortly? And she's like, your, yeah, your mom didn't send the, send, the, send the bracket. And I was like, it's 11 or 12. They're not up. So I went through and edited as much as I could and then woke up at like 5 this morning and, and made sure everything else was edited and uploaded and everything. And I just... Couldn't get back to sleep. The cats kept jumping on me and <laughs> running around and attacking each other. Well, it was odd because I, sometimes I look at my phone when I go get up at night. Sometimes I don't. So I just hit it and it lit up and there was a text in there. And it's always, you know, it's always a little bit scary when there's a text on your phone in oh, the yeah. middle of the night. So I looked and it was you <laughs> at 10.50 p.m. Are you up still? Oh, it was 10.50? Okay. Yeah, not That's so earlier much. than usual. No. So that was what at two thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah, two thirty yeah. in the morning. So then I had to go to my wife, and I had to rub her shoulder a little bit. And that didn't work, so I had to do a little light tap. That didn't work, and then I did it again. Finally, showed her, what's going on? <laughs> That's what Michelle does. I'll wake her up real nice, and then she like flinches. Well, and I'm like, I'm not here to. It's, it's dead asleep, you know. It's, really it's, it's dead asleep, and I never wake her up in the middle of the night. <clears> so <throat> you have your mind obviously going to think first that something's wrong. Oh, you forgot to send the, the key to... Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> but we got it up. I and think I, you said that right, hey? Crying out loud? Over crying out loud. <laughs> that, sound, that, sound, that sounds like her, especially sure in the middle sad. of the night. I don't think that's the Something thing. like that. Hey, you know what? I never did. I apologize. I never did say who was here tonight. And I always introduce everybody that's here. Small crew here tonight. The basement's actually going through some remodeling. And we're going to get a lot more done very soon. So we don't have a lot of people here. There's uh, my wife, Michelle, Kent, and Trent and I. And that's, that's really all who's here tonight. So That's how it first started. Not, Just not, us yeah. five down here. It hasn't been. I we usually try and invite some not people. Not a big party tonight. I think Kevin's, yeah, Kevin's out with his wife doing some stuff. Jay's out, yeah. out in Florida, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, Walker doesn't like us anymore, so he didn't, he didn't come down here. But <laughs> well, he's got a little bit of drive to get here. He does. It's five hours. Yeah. Um, Sorry, all the chit chat and stuff. I kind of forgot what we were doing here. I know. I'm not use, I'm not on these very often, so I, I get a little bit of a, to be a little bit well, of a chatterbox. I like a lot. Yeah. Um, it's got this really nice cherry note. It doesn't seem like it's a super high proof. Maybe like 100 to 110. Mm -hmm. But it's it's got this little bit of a bite at the end. It's it really tastes a lot more like, um, like it has a couple raw grain notes. Um, in it that I don't think that overpower the cherry a little bit. It's very good. I have to nitpick here because yeah. we're in the final four. This is very good. I would love to drink this all the time. It's very smooth. It goes down easy. B is just a little bit more complex. Seems a little bit darker. Seems a little bit more maybe woody. Um, and it has this like like a daity raisin kind of thing. I wonder if we have the same thing. It's like it's daity possible. raisin kind of thing. So I'm going to push B to the, what is it, championship round? Mm -hmm. Championship round, B. Right, right. round AB. Can I explain this to you? Because it's going to take a minute. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> this is another fantastic round right here, dude. <clears throat> Honestly. <clears throat> Those, these two, I am thrilled that they're in the final four. Because both of them are outstanding. Again, on the first one, and on A, 
that 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 maple leaf butterscotch kind of thing with that little date and raisin thing going on her over here to get some some nice rich toffee but then it goes a lot of the baking spices and it's a fabulous sip these this seems a little bit hotter this one over here it kind of stings a little bit but on my second and third sip it kind of tamed down and touched the first mm -hmm. sip here i reached for water right away because it was really? it was flaming it was hot it's so I, i'm struggling i have to say i'm struggling here at the moment I'm gonna take one more um i don't want to take one more sip of this one because both of these are just honestly really really good uh Ra raspin sek i think that's sweden fifty yeah. dollars much oh yeah. much love from sweden keep up with the good work thank you so much what the we need to go awesome. visit him I was just gonna say. I just want to go to Sweden go so I, bad. That's like it's my dream. Two thirty-five in the morning. That's I my wonder, dream destination. I, I just had someone, someone from Sweden, uh, send us uh, a couple of bottles. I wonder if that's that oh. person. I, I wonder, yeah, because it's it. What a, what an extraordinary, you know, yeah, personal that's really gift. Neat. I mean, that that took a lot to do that, and we thank you for that. It was a, it was a single malt Kent, oh. uh, indigenous of the area, but then they also have Buffalo Trace. That sold there at eighty proof, not ninety proof. Really? So that's something Trent and I'll get I into. Know. I didn't either. Trent and I will get into that day. a video with that yeah. at some point in time. That's wow. really neat. Thank you for watching it at two thirty-five in the morning. That's that's incredible. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh, I, uh, Do we need a cut? This we need a break. <laughs> <laughs> can't cut now, can you? This nope. pains me. I mean, it really does. I'm gonna have to push forward. A, but I. Yeah, dude, it's it's wonderful. It's really, really nice. I, I, it's packed with. I love it. Essence. There. Honestly, I just love it. Wow, that was a, that was an extremely difficult choice. Extremely okay. difficult. Babe, so, do you need a few minutes to switch the text and stuff? Well. Or did you figure out another alternative? Yes. The Which oh, one? Sorry. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, the people asked for it to. For me to put A, A, and then B, B on the same. So even though you said it doesn't work, it works. I made it work. So. I couldn't figure it out. Oh, well, you just I press enter. She'll, she'll show you oh. sometime. I'll teach you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry. Could you, could you so yes. <laughs> so now I just have to update it for the next okay. round. Oh, that's also a dollar sign, not a number. Sorry, guys. I was going to tell you because you're stressed. I'm a hot mess back here. Chaos, <laughs> And we're not, People you know, knew what you meant. It's just yeah. family, right? I spelled something <laughs> wrong. I did. Well, you, I did. I was reading out here, somebody said it, and I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> One more detective. Boy, it's always good to see you on the live streams. $10, thanks for being awesome. You're welcome. You know, Trent, he keeps trying. Well, well Trent, did you hear the, I got an applause <laughs> when I walked on, did you? I don't know about that. And they yeah. just kept going, apparently. Thank you. Well, good for you, buddy. I'm using it for myself. <laughs> good for you, pal. It's the big yellow one. Old Tractor Garage. Good to, good to see you tonight, sir. $20. dollars want to go on a garden tractor roundup in a couple of weeks out that way. I don't know what that means, but uh, probably. Uh, <laughs> if the tractor garages are suggesting it, we should probably do it. Wait, if you're going to be, be out here in a couple of weeks, just... Okay, we Trent, I wanna, I wanna, go ahead. We don't even we don't have to go do a garden tractor roundup. We could just do something else. But yeah, just uh, yeah, fun. we'll figure it out. What were you, you want to read the next one? Uh, yeah, I, I'm I, I'm I'm interested to see how he phrases. Kim this. F, ten dollars go. Go ahead, read it, <laughs> just as is. Go Gamecock women's basketball. We love our head coach Dawn Staley. Uh, she's the goat. Staley, Staley. Staley. Uh, yeah. She's the goat. Love your channel too. Thank you, Kim. Appreciate <laughs> yes. it. Do you know what goat means? The best. The best ever. Well, greatest of all time. Geo there you go. Yeah, it's the little, yeah. Good job. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. Yeah. I think, didn't they win the last minute shot over Tennessee? Are you really looking <laughs> know, at me like, thinking that I'm going to know anything about did, what did sports? Did they really? I wasn't. Yeah, I think they hit that buzzer. Wrong, but I, I think, think they hit that buzzer beater, uh, buzzer beater three-pointer to beat Tennessee. No, I think that was a field goal. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. Home run? I think so. No, I'm wrong, but no, not that. Okay, I need to read this, don't I? Okay. Oh, basketball. Okay, so yeah, that's a buzzer beater, right? Yes. You're yeah. Correct. Look at that. Yes. Wow. Can I put the next ones up or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then we can taste. Uh, James Merritt, $20. Proud to be a part of the SLB family. James.Idaho. 
Idaho. James from Idaho. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. I yeah, see. My, it's my formatted a little ex, on the screen. Thank you, James. Our ex-brother-in-law lives out in yeah. Idaho. I was just watching a show that involves Idaho. It's, yeah. I didn't realize what they were showing. It's so beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. I haven't been there. Yeah. Been through it once. Really nice. Very beautiful. Annette Zanario, $10. Thank you, Annette. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Wow, you just read that with such, like, finesse. I always screw that up when I, when I, and I try I to just, say it. Just go with it, buddy. You know, the words? Have confidence. Yeah. All of them? Yeah, all, all of it comes them. out right. <laughs> O-M-G. You got an O-M-G on your side? Smell that. It smells like fresh cut grass or like a... PVC pipe. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this has got the, oh. This reminds me of Blanton straight from the barrel. Does it? Yeah. Surprise. I like this one too. You hide one in here? I will say the aromas in this first glass are not as, as powerful as the aromas of the first two, but it's still very balanced. It's very nice. It's sweet. It's lighter. This has a really nice, like a, a rice crispy slash butterscotchy kind of thing. Like That's a rice crispy treat. Little barrel little butterscotch charter. drizzle on it. <laughs> I don't world? even like rice crispy treats unless mom makes, but now I want one. That sounds amazing. You Making them for, for Sunday. Yes. Ooh. I'm going to eat the whole tray. On here, remember I've said it before. There's a little barrel charter. There's like an iced tea lemonade in here. I remember you talking about like that. Like a lemon iced tea. Yeah. I keep saying iced tea lemonade, like a lemon iced tea thing. It's weird. I always say that, but it I can't remember how it's we good. did this in last. Okay, we did, yeah, we good. did it like this. You, I just, I, I want to bathe in it. It's, it's, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's honestly kind of like, and I don't know if it's because you just put this in my head, but it reminds me of like a peach tea. Really? Or like a ginseng tea or like a ginger tea or something. There's this, it's got this crispy, fresh kind of thing going on in it. Mm -hmm. But it's also like butterscotchy, weirdly. And it just all really works well together. It's a nice proof, whatever it is. I love it. Wonderful. Oh, man. It's like kind of bready, too, a little bit. Ryan, $5. Trent, just do what I do and call sports, sports ball. I, I basically do. When a lot of one of my buddies uh, growing up, uh, his dad played for the MLB on like three or four different teams. He did, yeah, Mickey so, Morini. So they were all yeah. about sports, that's and that's, they were doing the drafts when um, what the NFL started. I don't even know what terminology that is. They were doing NFL drafts and stuff and talking to all these people. And they it, they really acted like they knew every single individual yeah. person on the team. Yeah. And they did know they a lot did. of these people. They did. But I'm just sitting over in the corner like, I'm just trying to play my video lost. games, you know. Completely lost. Yeah, they were they were the more into sports. I was more into the video game type. Well, Trent and I have mm. to say, mine's pretty good. A A has that little bit of little bit of lightly burnt toast with a. That's I think that's that real uh, the barrel char is just out of this world. It's got a nice bite to it. Mm -hmm. It's got some oomph. To Oof, it, yeah. You know, you're drinking something that's you know gonna put a couple of hairs on your chest. You want to? Trust me, if there was something, okay. No, I wouldn't though, because I like not having to shave often. Yeah. I think right now I do have the one single chest hair right now. I don't want to get like taken down for for a, for inappropriate contact on YouTube. I'd show you if I could. Yeah. Uh, Robert Stein says Mickey Morandini was one of his favorites. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want to share? About that? He just did. Yeah. What, about what? That one's still. Oh, yeah. see, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm reading comments right. and I'm not paying attention. That's all right, honey. Yeah, no, yeah. M Mickey was actually, honestly, Mickey was uh, as down to earth as they came. Remember, Kent, when he played on our softball team with us, too? You want to see somebody that was the best softball player in the, on the field hey. at all times at his age, too? It was yeah, ridiculous. League at a church basketball league. Did he? he? Might as well have been playing Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heck of an athlete. Oh but. man, incredible! You yeah. still have three of his baseball cards. Yeah, I do. Yeah, um, right, and a really good guy too. Really, really good guy. Yeah, I used to go to my buddy's house <laughs> practically every weekend. 
Um, and he wasn't there a whole lot just because he was, I know he was doing an ambassadorship at the Phillies for a while, and he was on the road doing all kinds of stuff. Mm, I think he was a minor league coach for a while, too. Oh, he was minor, for the, minor for the manager blue, for blue? I wouldn't know the, the minor league affiliate for, for the Phillies, but I don't know. Blue Crab or something? Um, I yeah, it was like a triple-A team, I think, mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. And yeah. he was a first-base coach for the Phillies. Yeah. Uh, it was cool. He was a really nice guy. Yeah. Until I <laughs> I went to a doubleheader that his youngest son was playing at, and he was coaching, and the ref made a bad call, or the ump made a bad call. And, dude, I've never seen somebody so irate. He was, he was pretending he was back in the major yeah, leagues again like, or something. <laughs> and, like, these kids are, like, 13. I'm like, man. <laughs> Super nice guy, though. Their whole family. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, uh, just, not. Yeah. You're right, honey. I mean, their whole family was Peg just is sweet. Very, very. Yeah. It, it's just they're a wonderful family. Very grounded, you very. know, for for being in the position Mickey was mm -hmm. in. Just really good people. Sorry, did you taste D already? No. I oh, yeah. I just, I just I got no. caught up in the stories. Yep. Whoops. Orpheus, $5. Cheers, everyone. Somewhat longtime watcher, newish patron. Thank you for the support. We appreciate it. And Thank just you. got into, got really into the Discord community. We'll go, good luck with that. <laughs> this last couple of months. <laughs> oh, what a family. Well, that is true. That is true. Yeah, yeah really. And Kent and I, we have a little bit of a hard time keeping up with that, but that's just. I heard Kent are. might be getting on tonight after his <laughs> ideas from, from a South Carolina trip. <laughs> Kent's usually a one message and done kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Get two or three now. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Old Tractor Garage, thank you very much. $20 roundup is code for he bought more lawnmowers. <laughs> well, I oh, heard yeah. I heard he bought one from Michigan, right? Did And then I kind of asked why, just not like in a bad way, just mm -hmm. kind of curious. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, I guess I don't have to. It sounds like he might have. Yeah. <laughs> But Keith P, $5. Cheers, SLB family, longtime subscriber and first as a patron member. Appreciate all you do with the whiskey. That's Keith Plaisance. Junior, remember? Did remember we meet him in Kent's basement? No, I don't think so. No, this is something that we've tried to send to him for months, and it just never happened. And and he was very kind, and we messaged all the time, and we yep. yeah, he finally yep. got. Uh, I'm sorry, Keith, about that. <laughs> That's all right. We got a lot he, of. He's a good man. He's a good man. He he actually, I have to ask him sometime how it went at the New Orleans uh, bourbon event or whiskey event they had in New Orleans. He was going. That would have been. Oh fun. really? Yeah, that would have been fun. That would be fun. Primal Sear with subs and suds, ten dollars. You with guys are suds? slam dunking. <laughs> rubs, rubs, rubs and duds. What Put was those that? glasses up. <laughs> subs and ruds, or what did you say? <laughs> Spuds, suds and subs and suds is what you said. I did. We eating a you eating a subway in the bubble oh, bath. Oh boy. Well, sorry about the sorry about that Primal. Appreciate it. I'm gonna let you read the next couple. See how you do. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. I don't know why, but a lot of these really aren't drinking like a high, <laughs> like a high proof. Um, see, especially, but I, I did, I did taste the last one. The Ooh, this is wonderful, and this I did get beautiful. a little more of a high proofy kind of thing going on to it. This is completely different than everything I've had up here, which I I appreciate. I'm, I'm liking that part of it. Okay, this one here is. Uh, I smell like meat. Here, smell that. It smells like. I, okay, did you write down that I said something had like a palm olive kind of? Yes. That smells exactly like that. I, it, I wrote it down. I <laughs> that it smells down. exactly all's, like that. All I know is this one's like the complete opposite of everything that's been up here, and I'm really enjoying that. It's a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's different. But there's almost like an apple cider type note to it for me on the nose. And, and it, like a slight chestnut thing or something on there. Like a nut something on there. Hazelnut. Something like that. You know your nuts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and this, I, I really blame Walker for this because we did a new riff pick once and he tasted it and he's like, this has like a like a meat <laughs> he did. type of thing. He did. And that's all I taste now. I don't really yeah. drink that bottle too much anymore. <laughs> he did uh, that too. But D gives me a little bit of that too. <laughs> a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me right now if the mm -hmm. one that I said was palm olive was also the one that I just said? No. It's not it? That's so good. Dang it. That's going to be another tough one. Oh, <laughs> God, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Norton. 
twenty dollars. Much love to the SLB family, Keith and Fiona. Good to see you on here, Keith. Oh, thank and you, Keith. Fiona. Yeah. yeah. It was great meeting you both. Yep. We see, we see, well, we met you before, but Fiona, yeah. it was great meeting her. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you again soon sometime. Bucky, you're the man. The vampire slayer, really? <laughs> I'm going to be the Trenton slayer before the year's over. Homie. <laughs> Homie. <laughs> Bucky the infamous rifle messenger. <laughs> Can't keep up. I have arthritis in my thumbs now because I, I text and <laughs> type too much. Just got diagnosed. Mm-hmm. No, he really did. Mm. I really did. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me one bit. But when you're like Kent and I, and you're our age, you don't even go get diagnosed. You just live with it and move forward, and you just suck. Well, it I out. just wanted to make sure I didn't like break my thumb or something at some point, because I will. I'll, I'll like wake up and I'll sleep on my thumb, and it'll be bent back for the whole night, and I'll wake up and I just can't even move it when I wake up. <laughs> really? Jeez. I'm sorry, I, I had what to call you, you out. What are you? What are you? you said, I got diagnosed with Alzheimer's in my thumb today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah, I get those confused. <laughs> Arthritis and Alzheimer's. Well, my thumb did forget to move sometimes. <laughs> okay, so. wow. Um, oh, go for it, buddy. Mrs. Old Tractor Garage, two in Ohio and one in Michigan. But why? <laughs> <laughs> I f get that barn finished, and then you then you'll have more storage for. Where's he gonna put them? Oh, he'll find a way. I hope. I hope. Um, you guys watching with Rodney? One would be my question. Rodney and Jenna, and two. Um, are you watching with Samson and uh, Old Jimmy? Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, coin sense and nonsense. Y'all have the best hearts on whiskey tube. Your tasty notes are often <laughs> epic, but we can always count on you for being down to earth and honest. Congrats on your success. Much deserved. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I also, I know that you emailed me earlier this week or late last week, um, and I need to get back to you. I apologize. I will, can you, babe, can you text me to respond to coin sense and nonsense yes. in the email? Thank you. Sorry, sorry for the delay. Um, Jonathan Huntley, $5 late fee. Sorry I'm late, gents. <laughs> You're good, buddy. Appreciate it. We just appreciate you joining. Yeah. Thank you. Hope everybody's enjoying what we yeah. got going on so far. Yeah. That's so never... Yeah. When I'm up here, it's usually a, a, a you-know-what a <laughs> show. No. We already read Bucky's, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's Kevin. Kevin, man. Thank you, buddy. $100 donation from Kevin Page. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to seeing what wins the tournament despite my busted bracket. Oh, no. Did it? Did I do that? <laughs> Love, <laughs> Love this channel. Y'all do an amazing job every time. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I say this every time Kevin donates. We really need to go out there and meet him. Yeah, yeah we, do. we do. That's yeah. so sweet. Where does he live? East Coast? Uh, he's got one in Maine and one in Connecticut. So both. We're going to go to both of his both. houses. Yep. I could use an excuse to go get a uh, lobster roll. Yeah. Fresh crab. Solid. Um, Ma Rebecca, you up for that trip? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you would be. Keith P says, Kurt, I'm impressed that you pronounced my last name correctly. Wow. I am too, actually. <laughs> I've read it plenty of times, but you know, when you say, I mean, yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm surprised myself. Did you truth. plug it in Google? No, See? I did not. I did not. I and then uh, Katie, Mrs. Old Tractor Garage says, no, Rod and Jen tonight. Jimmy and Samson are both sleeping. Jimmy is the dog and Samson's the cat, for those of you oh, who don't know. Love those. Love those. All right. CAB, $5. Enjoying the show as always. Thank you. Mm. Robert Shear at Pages and Pores, $25. Thank you, Robert. That's very kind of you. Shout out to the SLB women behind the scenes. Love you, Michelle and Rebecca. Well, that's a fact. I'm not doing everything, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's yeah, doing it. No, here. Rebecca, you're but pointing out the things you're that you've pointed out. You're the one that got the JJ's so Pizza. You're the one that got everything. You know, you're the one. Not got sponsored, stuff. by the way. Yeah, we. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, why did Shame. they start watching our stuff? We can sponsor our live streams. JJ's Pizza. Maybe I'll do an email. Yeah, you yeah. should. Like, come on, come on. Somebody, I think, who was in our Discord. When we talked about JJ's in our last video, they were like, I don't know, I live 10 states over, but I'm Googling JJ's pizza menu for some reason. And it was like 8 in the morning. <laughs> the, the Uber Eats. <laughs> right. It's going to be some nasty pizza. Who knows, maybe we'd do a surprise JJ's delivery. I mean, it would, it would, it would take a long time to get there, and it would probably be congealed, and I, I might have a slice out of your, out of your order. <laughs> Their breadsticks are good, too. Are. Well, anyways, what are you pushing forward there? Brother, I, I'm having a hard time again. It's, uh, you know, 
I was going to say C, C. The C is like what I've said before. It's like that old, old friend. friend. It's like that old friend has been there for <laughs> me forever. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And, and truthfully, after even sipping on C, I was like, well, I already know what's going to go forward on this one. I, but then I sipped D, and it is fabulous. It's really, really good stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to push forward D. Wow. I'm going to push C forward. Uh, to me, D drinks a little bit hotter. Um, and it has this kind of a meaty, meaty kind of thing going on that I'm not loving right now. Really? This has a little bit more sweetness. A little bit. I feel like I'm getting cherry on a lot of stuff. I need to eat some cherries because I might mm -hmm. just be off my rocker. But this also got a little butterscotch going on. It's like a sweet cereal, nice. like a uh, like a sugared Wheaties. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. But I, I really, good. I really like that. Whatever they described, it does. Yeah. So, all right. So now, how are we? Do well, you guys want to go ahead? Do you want to take the glasses we picked and then just pour a little bit more in there? I was just going to say that I, uh, before nice. the show, honey. I said we to set up new glasses. But I think Trenton's right on the money here. If you take the glasses that we pushed forward and yeah. just refresh them a bit, I think that would be great. And we don't kind of wash them out. And... Yeah, we got new glasses in there, but I think I'd like them refreshed more than anything else. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think that the aromas would be there, mm -hmm. you know, still. Yeah, so sorry to mislead you. Though. Sorry to mislead you at the beginning of the show. No, we could just keep the label on. Well, they're not, they're not going to be there. I right. think what I'll do is still do the E and F and just pour them. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that that way I'm not that wasting works. what you have. Yeah, that's right. fine. If we have to. <coughs> so, well, it's going to be A and B now. That's okay, honey. You do what you got to do. Should we, just, yep. should we just put the glasses down here and you'll do two more things? <laughs> Are you sorry? <laughs> Can you get out? Can you get out, honey? We're a little jam-packed back there today. Here we go. <clears throat> she got it. Squeeze. Uh, green Rub, $5. Love the show. Thank you, Green Rub. Uh, Austin T, any more monster loads tonight? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> what does that even mean? You tasted something and you were like, there's like a monster load of something in here. And I, I almost just lost it. I kept my composure. Okay. But <laughs> Well, now I know. I did what I was watching. I, okay. Well, I have no idea what that even meant and what you're talking about. But now that you're saying what you're saying, that doesn't surprise me one bit. Huh? Glasses. Your glasses, but are we doing E and F or just just hand them the glasses? <laughs> okay, I'm not even going. Yeah. What did you guys push for it? I didn't write it down. They did, but I don't. I don't, I don't remember. remember. Okay. I don't know. I know the last one I pushed for was D. That's what. I, yeah. I pushed C. I know that. Okay. Yeah, I, I got the other one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. If I would guess, I would guess it was B. I no, mean I, A. I have that. I just meant for a C and D. Okay, D for me then. Okay. Yeah, D for me. Did that, does that surprise you that you said that, though? No, no what's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Dude, only, come on, only man. you would have something wrong with that. <laughs> not, not just me. Kent's laughing. Austin T's laughing. Well, there were okay. several comments in the Discord. I would, have to, I would have to ask Kent what your face was, <laughs> what was his face during the video when I said it. Okay, well, that's why he's laughing, because you're a knucklehead. <laughs> And can't keep your composure when I say something common, please. And you got to put your own spin on it. Who in their right mind just tosses out monster load like it's a normal thing to say? On a bourbon YouTube channel? No. I didn't remember. I'll swear on the internet. You know how this is tough, and you said, is it really put the wood teeth? <laughs> That's why I said that. And I went with that, too, because I remember that. I go, yeah, it is. It's putting the wood teeth. And you're setting me up the oh, whole time, God. weren't you? I'm surprised you didn't catch on. I, I have you're, no idea. I'm like sweating now. I'm laughing so much. <laughs> no, I can feel it. No clue. Wow. No clue. Whew. That's just, that's just. Oh, wow. Awful. You're awful. <laughs> I'm, I'm just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Jeez. Oh, oh man. Uh, DJ Will. <coughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, hold on. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Will 17, ten dollars. Thank you, buddy. We appreciate that. Boys to all the lost loved ones. I apologize. Boys to all the lost loves ones. Keep caring. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. Lawnmower Detective. Thank you again. Ten dollars. My name is Jeff. LOL. My name is Jeff. All right. Actually, now we'll know the name. Jeff. I know. Yeah, we got to keep you. that in mind. Jeff, the lawnmower detective. <laughs> My stomach is like. 
I'm feeling it. Holly Mayer, ten dollars. Love you guys. I failed miserably, but enjoyed the journey. I appreciate the ladies too. Well, we might have failed miserably too. So. I well, according there's been some some hubbub uh, tonight, and also from some other people in the Discord. Without giving it away, thankfully. So thank you to everybody who kind of uh, didn't uh, spoil it for for Cheers. us. But um, apparently, I, I ruffled some feathers with a my switch pick. When I picked one, and then I a couple seconds later picked the other one, uh, I ticked mom off too because she circled it, and I don't know what that sheet looked like after she was yeah, done. It was <laughs> um, but also, it sounds like I may have may have uh, picked a very strange one compared to a hitter, Is that based right? on what Kent said towards the beginning. So well, we're gonna find out Monday on that one, aren't we? I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little scared to know what that is, but uh, primal seer with flubs and scrubs. <laughs> Scrubs? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not making fun. I'm just trying to get at him. Primal Sear with rubs and suds. I'm so proud. Five it only dollars. took five times. You Thank did you. It. <laughs> I just wanted you to try saying it again. See, <laughs> I didn't read the rest of it. They it did that. It's worth the five bucks. I hope it was worth it to you. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> We need to do. They they have been talking about a a, a meat oh. or a bar, a meat yes. and bourbon kind of event. We keep talking about that almost every live stream. I know. I'm gonna this summer. What are the suds about? Do are we something. doing that in like a jacuzzi or? <laughs> I'm sure it's. Again, but I don't remember. It's probably beer or something. I'm assuming. So. Oh yeah, that's you're probably right. Yeah. Don Morton, bottle and bond, Don. Five dollars. Thank you, Don. This is a first for me that I am doing better in my Trenton bracket than Kurt. Thanks again for all the condolences, thoughts, and prayers. You're you're more than welcome, Don. You made the world to us, and I hope you, I hope you know that. I really do. Jim Jones, ten dollars. The Reverend here, and I mean, you know that's Reverend. Yeah, I'd like to know if you're really a Reverend. You're a Janine. Love the madness and can't wait for you to see what you both selected through the bracket. Great show. Yeah, he's a pastor or clergy. You read it on. He pulled up the dictionary that quick on the thing. You pulled up the dictionary? Yeah, because the reverend. He's trying to figure out what that means. What a reverend was. You're gonna get a email. Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, I'm gonna get another one. Oh goodness. Mr. Roboto, $5. Always love watching you guys. Here with my wife and dog, Walter. I love I love dog names like that. Like Paul They're Walter. like old common, you know, yeah. uh, people names. Like I love Fred. that. Yeah. Ken and, I, right. Ken and I had Fred, and we Jimmy. liked him so much, we had three Freds. <laughs> <laughs> they kept getting killed. It was weird. <laughs> okay, thanks for the tidbit that there at the end. so dark. It was. It was. Wasn't he's, it? Yeah. He's. Oh, were you even around then? Love were watching you? the show. Here's here with my wife and dog Walter. Yeah, three dogs died that all had the same name. No, Man. two. One. The last Fred stuck around for a while. Oh, the good. Last Fred was 14 years old. Wow. Okay. And that's the only one I knew because you know I'm a lot younger than. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the other. Oh, he's got to slip it in there. But he was trying. He dove under. Uh, <sighs> Dad's truck yeah. twice. Yeah, so he well, ran sideways. And Dad ran over more dogs than I know of anybody that ever has. <laughs> Good lord! He killed. He killed first Fred. Oh my god! <laughs> We're gonna get taken down. I'm well, so I mean, he right ran now. over him, and it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. It just happened. Still. You know, we had a moment of silence like, as a kid. It was fine. It's like Donna. No, don't tell that story. That's so sad. It was horrible. No, it's so bad. Um. Anyways. Well, th thank you for thank you for bringing back thank SLB for tries for Mr. Roboto. That that was a lot of fun. We really have kind of lost a lot of time here in the last month or two, uh, preparing for the show and doing. Uh, we he, we got reservation reservations renovations, getting planned and stuff for down here. Yeah, He's been working lot. a whole lot and traveling. We've been traveling, doing barrel picks and stuff. So it's a little bit difficult. We will can we will pick it back up at some point. Um, but for now, it's just a little bit difficult to, yeah. to slot in the time to, to shoot and edit and do all that other stuff. Yeah, but we will, fun. I promise. All right. E and F here, huh? Yeah, I'm working on typing it up, sorry. Oh, okay. Here the Benzo, $20. Y'all's laughing is contagious, enjoying the stream. Well, that's good. We all need to laugh. I've never been told that about We all laugh. need I to just, laugh once in a while. I just get told my laughs kind of annoying. What? By who? 
for anybody that's not you, oh. really. Because I like do this like wheezing thing, and I really hurt my, I really hurt my throat. Uh, Holly said uh, that she googled JJ's, and uh, Brian. Brian is the one who was Googling, <laughs> Brian was the one that was Googling JJ's at 8 a.m. Oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, another question about, uh, Annette asked uh, about SLB tries again. Annette, yeah, we will. Um, I have some good ones in the pipeline. I was just, I was, I was really going big on some of the ideas that I had, and one of them was to try a durian, uh, fresh durian, and... They either don't allow it in the United States or it's like $500 for a fruit. So that's a little, that's a little bit out of the budget for the show. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. <laughs> Austin T, $2, rip first Fred. I agree. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was when I was a kid. That was a long time ago. A long time ago. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't even say that. But. Oh, no. Max was riding with Dad in the truck on First Fred. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and you can imagine. Oh, yeah. 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 That was my dad's brother. Yeah, that was uh, quite the clan. <laughs> my dad's family, quite the clan. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> Are we up with the legend? Yeah, it's just, it's really weirdly formatted, and I'm trying to fix it. But <laughs> anyway, it's good. If, it can, if y'all can read and everything, I think we'll just we'll just go for it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'd be we'd be morons if we didn't recognize now what we're going to be smelling and tasting in the finals. I mean, not that we would know what it is. But we just taste it and it moved forward. And so this one here, what do we got, honey? E and F? E is back to that that hazel, not the light hazelnut, but there's like a cider note in there that's just beautiful. It's like sugary cider to me. I'm, I'm really, really digging it. It's really nice. It's a little bit lighter on the aromas than the other three that we had that I had personally in the final four. It's not dark like that but it's it's nice and sweet really smells very well rounded very well rounded S apple or cider mm -hmm. is cider always apple cider is that a dumb question <sighs> could be yeah i guess so i mean that is kind of a question you know, I, I, I don't know yeah I don't know. a lot of times when i ask a question i just expect like a really like <laughs> so the last couple live streams brian my buddy that owns the orchard was watching. Brian, if you're Sorry. if you're watching, he would know. Yeah, he would know. Keep an eye out for. Um, he would know. We will be there. Keep an eye out for what's his name? Brian. Uh, Brian Garwood. Okay. Oh, Garwood. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Garwood Orchards. I only know him by I only knew him by his nickname a couple yeah. seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> this this is going to be incredibly difficult. It is. And what I'm really enjoying, I haven't really even gotten to F yet, but I know it's coming. And I've got two completely different animals up here, which I'm really happy for. It's a two different, completely different uh, sipping experiences that I'm going to have up here. E, oh, is this E? E, oh, yeah, babe. Apparently, you can make cider from any fruit. Oh, interesting. Ooh, like a raspberry cider sounds pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Someone said pear cider. Oh, wow, you that imagine sounds that good. Oh I'm so, I almost said apple cider. <laughs> Can you imagine apple cider? Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. You said pear. I was like, ooh, apples would be good. And I was like, really? You're going to try that sometime. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I should. I should. It's great. I do have an apple tree in the yard. And pears. And pears, yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. We should do that. Mm. Katie's going to have to help us. I, you know, these people are so good at names. Wald the Goonie. W-A-L-D the Goonie. $10, thank you. 
Hawaii. Cheers from Hawaii. Can I ask where you got the Ardbeg Galileo? I'm hunting everywhere for it. And if there's an online site you recommend, I'd super appreciate it. Ask this guy. Galileo. Well, it doesn't matter. Where do you find hard to find art bags? Where do you get, you know, some of your bottles that are hard to find more than anything else? Oh, that's a good question. So with with the channel, we do I do get quite a few emails from folks, maybe I don't know, anywhere from five a week, uh, from folks saying, Hey, I was, you know, my my so and so had just passed away or they were moving out of their house or something and we found this in the basement or the cabinet or the garage or wherever. Um, and these, these are usually the things that are like 60s, 70s, 80s, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've, I, I've done trades with a few of these people and one yeah. of them was an art bag. Um, yeah, was that was the, the dark, the dark cove. cove that um, I think, I, I think I it was an Elmer T. I traded, traded that. Elmer T. Yeah. for that. What a, um, a win, win that is. The Galileo. Well, tell I, about the, go ahead. I think I paid cash for that as a gift for Kurt, um, I can't remember who I got it from. It wasn't like an online site or anything. It was a direct message or a direct email or something. Check out, there's two websites that I like to check out and this is good for, I think everybody, so they can, mm. so you kind of can kind of know what uh, secondary prices are going for and you know, maybe even where to find some of the stuff that's hard to get. Um, Unicorn Auctions is a good one. They're based in Chicago. Uh, they're just a 45 minute drive from us. And then there's another company um, these are all online auctions. Uh, Whiskey Auctioneer, they're based in the UK somewhere. Um, so, the, you know, if you do purchase something there, I believe they're, um, either their premiums are a little bit higher or you are paying for like overseas yeah. shipping and the import right. fees and all this other stuff. So, right. so it's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more expensive. Yep. Um, but, and then just to do a little plug here, our app only drams, it also displays secondary pricing and stuff so you can see, you know, like, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, for example, you can see what secondary prices are going for that. And especially now after the, the market has kind of done a little bit of a correction, Elmer T. Lee was like 300, now it's going for 175 to 200. So mm -hmm. stuff's down, Weller Full Proof's 175 to 225. There's been a, a, a big Good. correction. Good. So stay informed as much as possible, check out yep. these auction sites, check out our app and stuff so you can keep uh, up to date with pricing so mm -hmm. you don't think you're getting a good deal Great. Uh, and you get taken advantage of, right. especially in the Facebook sites. Good points. Sorry. Good job. No, that was good. Good job. <clears throat> it was that Galileo? Wald, Wald the Goonie. Yep, Wald the Goonie. BMC, $5. Going to love when you guys get to review all your picks and tasting notes. And that'll be coming Monday. <laughs> that's going to be wild. That's for sure. Justin, $2. Thank you. Top five, top five high viscous bourbons videos coming soon. And I would guess... He's the one that asked me about that too on a comment or direct message or something as well. It's that, good. That a good would topic. be a, an interesting a, a good video. topic, yeah. But it's like, do you have to stay with, can you go into finishes? Because those are like, if you get a maple or honey finish, mm -hmm. those can be a little bit more Well, viscous. yeah, those can for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, any chance on the app coming to Android? Yes, uh, the app will be coming to Android in around the May timeframe. We started work on that a week or two ago, and it's coming along pretty good. I've been working late hours on that. He did. He's been doing a lot of the infrastructure it's coming, work. Uh, coming along nicely. Yeah, he's he's really he's crushing it. He was really able to take his drywall experience and really mold that into it, an IT kind of uh, field. Yeah, that's true. It's true, dude. Can can we just call it a draw? <laughs> yeah, I know. I there's a few, and I'll share that here in a little bit. NC Dorito, ten dollars. Thank. Cheers, Trent and Kurt. Big thanks to Michelle for running things. Love y'all, Michael Probst. $10 of Trenton sent me JJ's. It might take three weeks to get here. It's very possible. It'd be gross and moldy. No, JJ's keeps I think keeps that was a, a smack on Trenton how long it takes him to get something out. No, it's not. He, I sent him a package and it took three weeks when I dropped it off for it to get to him. It traveled about 2,500 miles. Is that right? It never left the U.S., but it traveled that about that long. It just so went all over the yep, place. Yep. Okay. Well, it was legit then. All right. Yeah. I thought it was Ooh. kind of a <laughs> smack against you. No, yeah, I get a lot of those. <laughs> I get <laughs> I a lot of those, too. I know. I know. That's why I just was going with it. Justin Hendrickson, $20. Thank you, fellas, ladies behind the scene, and Discord family. I've attained numerous new friends and family throughout the SLB journey and barrel pick opportunities and ability to, ability to share with the group. Thank you again. We're not here to promote. Trent and I don't do a lot of salesmanship on our shows or anything like that. We don't even take on sponsors. We're not big on having reading 
three minutes of some sponsor on our shows. Yeah. I usually avoid talking about yeah. our channel as <laughs> so, much as possible with other but people. But I, I will slip this out there. If you're, <clears throat> if you're interested in, in, in joining our Patreon group, it is truly a family and it's a community, especially if you're involved on Discord and a lot of the other activities there. And I'll just leave it there at that. But thank you, Justin. Appreciate it. We got about seven barrel picks coming up, too, on that. This is rough. I'm not going to lie. What a terrible job. I know. It's the worst. I would hate it. It's the worst. It's so hard. They're just two completely separate pours. And I don't know which one I like more right now. That's what I'm going off of. And I don't either, really. I... <clears throat> I'm drinking F more because I think I'm leaning towards E. E is just, it, it has a little bit more viscosity all the way through. This one has a really nice cherry, uh, wood, like a woody cherry kind of thing. It honestly kind of reminds me of um, kind of like a turkey, like a turkey product, which I'd be surprised if it was. I wouldn't. Nice. I, I know it's not <laughs> rare breed. I know it's not rare breed. I will tell you that. I've never gotten like a really strong cherry note from a rare breed like this. Well, Have you? Uh, I, well yes. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I... And I, I could be completely off base here, but I, I have gotten a really nice cherry note with that with that substantive turkey flavors with a Russell's Re Reserve 13 products with those bottles, and it's delicious. And I have a feeling that's what I kicked out the other day, and it broke my heart. We'll find out on Monday. Yeah. Well, I think... Eh, I'm going to do one more sip. Yeah, well, as I'm gonna be loaded here. This one here, I, guys. This one here is is that one I was telling you about. I get a little cider notes here. There's a beautiful like a hazelnut thing going on there. Very, you know, but extremely well balanced. It's a magnificent sip. The proof point for me on this one is spot on. It's it's sweet, but yet not. It's just hard to explain, but it's lovely. This one over here is is the one that's the butterscotch maple. It's even turning a little marshmallowy for me. A little marshmallow in there. And on the palate, it, it's the same, except for I'm getting some dates again, you know. This one here is a little bit more viscous. It's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> for me, E is like if you took coffee grounds and mixed it with like prune juice and added a little sugar to it. I mean, really. Well, we gotta be tasting one of the same because some of the sounds spot on. It is very, it's very difficult. These are both very good. I mean, most of these were pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of the brackets that we did were all very solid. None of them that we put in were bad by any means. So it's very subjective to yeah. when we're talking about a, a, the context of a specific yeah. round. For this round, and yeah. I think for the whole thing, just based on the complexity and the depth and the viscosity, I'm gonna have to go with E. Yeah, and I, 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 I. I have a feeling this is the same bottle because I have to go with F for the same reasons. Um, although E is a fantastic sip. There's a few of them in this, especially in the finals and the one. The one I'm referring to that I thought was the Russell's Reserve 13, and I don't know that for sure, and if I'm wrong, slap me hard, but I... I kick that out i believe in favor of this one that won and it was so good this one is so good the other one that i that i kicked out on the finals i don't know what that was i have no i, have, I wouldn't even have a guess on that one kent what that was that I mean, it was so good really really good there's quite a few that were just really really good stuff it's too late to change really my good. answer <laughs> gonna get her ticked off again, aren't you? No, I don't know. I'm gonna stop there because I can go back and I'm, forth. I'm too, happy. I'm I can't. Happy with I mine. can't do it. Yeah, I just can't. Um, Jonathan, sorry. Who? What? I think I said that wrong. Oh. Right. Sorry. Ten dollars. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Did you? This is Craig. Did you read Craig's? I did. Okay. Yep. I read Justin's. How to back at you? You didn't think I was gonna get that one, did you? I'd be concerned if you didn't. <laughs> Five dollars. Thank you very much. Cheers to both. Cheers to you both. Your energy and positivity is a bright light during dark times. You know what? 
it, don't get me started on some of this stuff here, but folks, let me just tell you something. With all the garbage that circulates around our world today and people just beating each other up verbally, continuously, and all this, I don't get it either. I don't get it either. Let's do exactly what this particular person said. Let's shine a bright light during the dark times. I love it. Let's do it. It's got to start individually. It's got to start with you and me, period. Very true. Very well said. Also, Kurt, double olives with pepperoni and sausage is delicious. (laughs) Amen to that. Thank you, honey, for getting that. You got me until you put double olives on that thing. That was Mm. wonderful. That's what I have tonight. Thank you. Um, All right. Well, I don't know. Well, let's let the chat decide. I guess. I mean, do we want? We should probably say what the what the final two were, maybe, for you and for me. Okay. And then what we did, and then maybe we'll leave the rest until Monday's video. I don't know. Um, Yeah. However, they want to do it. And then for the for whatever for the bracket, I'm really, I'm really, I really want to know what that one was and the and one before that I kicked out because it was absolutely delicious. But don't, I it, whatever we have to do is best is fine. I'll I'll find out sooner or later. Whatever whatever the one that I didn't in this then the championship round whichever one I didn't pick mm-hmm. was so good, and it's really tough because they, I mean they're both incredible. Yeah. And it's like when when we're saying things, we got to nitpick because that's the whole point. You got to come out with a winner, and I hate to yeah. do that because so many of these were so good, yeah. and yeah. they were picked. They were picked by our community, by our patrons, and everything. And everybody put in a lot of work to make this happen. Yes. So thank you to to Michelle for editing, and I, you know she had to get up several times and yeah. uh, change some of the text yep. and stuff in the videos. Mom for curating all of the. Yeah. the Scores and the brackets yeah. and doing all the stuff and <laughs> she was, she was stressed. That doing was pours and hard. Keeping I bet. Notes and I was so stressed. I bet. <laughs> like you guys don't even know because I had to make sure that because your brackets were different and I'm right. pouring and I'm yeah. double checking and triple yeah. checking to make sure the right, right bottles going into the right glass. And, right, you know, right, right. I was stressed. Well, oh, no, what no. do you think moving forward? To next year, do you think it was too hard to do two separate different brackets? Well, from what <laughs> I, from what I've Michelle about lost her glasses, shaking her head up. And I down, can yes, I can. I'm not actually. We do the reveal, then I'll look at the chat. But the comments that I've been reading on the videos have mm-hmm. been saying yes, they, it was confusing to the viewers. But like you said, even if you had the same. Brackets it eventually it would change right. anyway, but that wasn't we, as hard to manage. We wouldn't like. move the same ones forward. So what you're saying, Michelle, it was a little bit harder when we seeded our own. Yeah, but this is what the people were saying. They liked <clears throat> last year when you guys were tasting the same thing because then you could kind sure. of play off of each other sure. on your tasting notes. And sure, you knew you were so tasting the same. At thing. least the first sixteen Correct. bottles yeah. we'd be tasting right. the same. Right. I understand that. That's fine. That's but, fair. I mean, you That's guys fair. now to put in the chat. I like the idea what of you think. three people. That would be the neat. Same bracket. I feel like we could, instead of being back here, because it is a little bit of a tight squeeze mm-hmm. with all of us, mm-hmm. when the renovations and stuff are done, yeah. we can do a specific Obviously. area for the sure we can. for the stuff next year. Sure we can. And we could we could go even bigger next year. We'll just we'll see. And yeah. I think we, we leave it up to, to people, yeah. you know, patrons, YouTube community, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'd really um, like to have the losers bracket too. Remember, kept kept yeah. all the softball tournaments we oh, played. Yeah. You get in that losers bracket, then you ended up playing if you kept winning the rest of the day. Hour after hour. <laughs> yeah, after if hour. you kept winning. <laughs> so yeah, I liked I like to have the losers bracket. You know, because that one that one uh, bracket that I had to eliminate what I thought might be well, the sure. the Russell's bottle, sure. which it may not be. I quit quit saying that because I might embarrass myself, but. Regardless, it was fantastic, whatever it was. I would love to see that get into a, yeah. a loser's type bracket and work its way back up. So would you, <clears throat> you would, you said massive load. Why so that's embarrassing too. Well, it's like you're saying, I don't want to get a bottle wrong, but then you're saying putting the wood tea in the massive load. <laughs> Bro, you're the only ones having problems with that. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't have a problem with that. I just think it's hilarious. You do, you man. No judgment here, but I'm going to laugh at it. <laughs> All right, we want to do the reveal. I get it. <laughs> do the reveals. I are saying that it'd be easier if, like how I did it earlier, where, like if you guys are, sorry, words are hard tonight. 
We're both glasses are up at the same time. A and B, A and B. Oh, okay. Instead of like Switch AA and, and then BB. Yeah, and that would be easier for me too, editing, actually. Oh, really? I, I yes. didn't watch the video. So, so basically what you're saying, let me just make sure I get it right. So in the videos in this tournament, while we were sipping, let's just say, for example, glass A, mm -hmm. glass A was up. Yeah. And then when we sipped glass B, then glass B would come up without glass A. Right. So like, but, you know, yours would be glass A, this pour, and his would be glass A, this other type of pour. I got you. you. Know I mean? so sure. Like lots of different things to keep track of. So let me make sure I get it straight. So they're asking to see if both of them can stay up there the yeah. whole time. Since you have glass A and B up on... Like in front of Understood. Your, you know. I understand that. And okay. there, the, <clears throat> there were times when I was editing where we weren't doing the same glass at the same time. I would be a little bit ahead on, like, let's sure. say B, for example, you'd still be tasting okay. and stuff. So okay. it, it was, while yeah. I was doing it, I was like, yeah. Because if I was getting confused while editing, I know people were getting confused oh, while okay. they were watching. Okay, yeah. because now it makes even more sense because there's going to be times where you have an easier round and I'm having a more difficult yeah, exactly. time trying to figure yeah. it out, vice versa, back and forth. Okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. All right. And a lot of times, both of you, yeah. <laughs> after tasting them both, you went back <clears throat> back and forth trying to make a decision. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if, if both was up there, that makes hey, complete sense because they know we, what you're bouncing back and forth. Yeah. yeah. We love I, constructive I, criticism, so we appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right. Well, do we want to yeah. grab the bottles? <laughs> Go ahead, because I'm kind of stuck right yeah, here. Yeah, Nick Robinson, yeah, $5. Cheers to the championship round. Future barrel pick. Question mark? What are you saying there? The championship round, where are the champion? Is that going to be a future barrel pick? Just the winner. Just the winner? I don't know if the if the winner does. Possibly. I don't know what the winner is, so I don't know if they do barrel picks. Yeah, we'll find out. I'll, I think that's a great I'll, idea. I I will I'll keep that in mind. When, BMC five dollars. Thank you, Kurt. I will eat pizza with you anytime. Black and green olives on a supreme style pizza is the best. You dog. All right, Phil Spence. Good good to, good to see you here tonight, Phil. Thank you. Yep, Ken says. What bottles are you wanting? Just your winners? Who want to do it? Or uh, of the mix? Chat. What do you think we should do? The do you want to see the final four, or do you want to see just the winners, or just the winners of each? You know, we'll give it a sec. I'd be interested to see what the, my my first thought would be. Let's just see the final four. That way we can see what we knocked yeah, out. We only want we the final. Four. We'll, we'll just do the final four. Max the final four. Okay. Yeah. The, right. At max the final four. We'll save everything else yeah. for Monday. But, yeah. But if the folks just want to see the finals, that's fine too. But max the final Most four. Are yeah. Saying yeah, final yeah. four. And there are some people who are like too much small talk and complaining. Well, that's how it goes sometimes, friends. Yeah, we just we just get back here and we do us. We yeah. don't schedule anything. We're not worried about what we're talking about or the timing or anything. We're just having a good yeah. time. That's what drinking's all about. Well, that's what sharing and bourbon and whiskey and scotch, no matter what you do, it's it's all about the sharing and caring and yeah, you know, honestly. Um, Austin, ooh, here we go. Oh my. Oh, yeah, Austin, Trent, please explain the massive load thing off camera. I will. Yeah, because uh, don't know. worry, don't worry. I'll 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 school him a little bit on <laughs> on that, uh, brother. This was your first round, Kurt. Okay, what I really? Okay. That was the first round. And keep an eye out. Make sure I'm correct. Is that the premium? C923. Oh, is that the one you said you wish you didn't take out? No, that was the one before. But this one, this was the first round that I tasted, and. Both of them were absolutely oh, outstanding. Yeah, you guys shared that one in the first, first round. So, okay, you would had this one too, like I said. I'm glad this made that this far, because honestly, like this is the first bottle I've had. I don't know how much has been emptied by the tournament, but I, I don't drink this a whole lot. And this is 110 proof, so that's a good proof point. Oh, that's the Mictor's wow. Bell right Yeah. All right. Well, this doesn't okay. surprise me that it was in the final four, Kent. For me personally, because it's it's a fantastic bottle, <laughs> Elijah Craig C923. It is 133 proof, which is a little bit above what I would typically say that I would enjoy. But it is a flavor bomb. It's rich and robust flavor profile. We'll get to back to this bottle here well, in a little bit. This will make that easy. You kick this one out. You kick that one out. Wow. <laughs> I knew that was a good bottle that I kicked out. I knew it was good. It was so, so good. Oh, my God. We'll, we'll get back to that one. Cinderella story. 
Oh, really? Kind of. For those that don't know it. And it, for those that don't we know went it. we went back and forth about this with the Patreon community. I mean, this was it. We kicked. Um, I think it was Jim Beam or Four Roses out. No way! All right, wow, go ahead. <laughs> dude, that is a heck of a match up there. Wait, so this is the second round? Yeah. yeah. Oh my! <laughs> this kind of surprised me, uh, Trent. No way! You got to be serious. You had two Jack Daniels in your final four. What? Get out of here! I am shocked with that. I'm surprised. About that before the show this is batch one. I am. Wow. I'm surprised. Is this the one I kept getting a cherry note on? Is it? Yeah, dude. Smell that. Holy cow! It's like cherry butterscotch, <laughs> like a twisted cone from Dairy Queen. Holy crap! Okay. I, so I am flabbergasted by that. That must have been that because I said this drank hot, and I know this drink's hot. Correct. Okay. So wow. That, that you can set to the side. Okay, Holy Kit. Cow. I have to ask you because. On this round, I, can't I said, I, this tastes like an old friend. And I, I hope I said that about Wild Turkey Rare Beer, because if I didn't, you I'm did. going to just leave. You I'm going to leave the show. You, you actually did. said it about that. I was. And a lot of people <laughs> made note of it that you said that. See, a lot of time you say you don't know what you're talking about, when you, but you can now, pick up stuff that you like. Not all the time. Sometimes, maybe. Now, I as guess, you know, you didn't pick it, though. I did know that, yeah. <clears throat> but I have to, I have oh. to say that this... I didn't know that this was the bottle that I picked. I really didn't know. But now that I see it, it was it was the very first aged uh, special release to come out of Maker's Mark, right, Trenton? Yes. So it's like this was in my final four, which I just, I think that's wonderful. I think that's awesome that it was in my final four. I did, this is extremely stiff competition for this bottle to go up. This is a shelfer. This is a fifty dollars shelfer. Correct. Which is so, an awesome bottle. Well, yes. But I was kind of sixty. Uh, and True. So is that? True. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of happy to see a Maker's Mark bottle up there, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a Maker's yeah. fan, so that was yeah. cool for me. Yeah, I loved it. I really do. I loved it. So, anyways, that's fantastic. <laughs> that, that was that surprised me. What he had over there. This is awesome, too. I kind of had an idea. I was hoping I was on the right track when I was talking about this one. I, di I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know that one. So the uh, cellar age, you could leave up. Yeah, so this one went out. To the side. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, you both had uh, the OCD number five premium in, and that was your respective. Uh, so this is our finals right yeah. here. And I, I would be kind of <laughs> shocked if you guys don't know what you picked. Yeah, this Ooh, yeah, it has to be that. Yeah. Well, as looking at it right now, yeah, it has to be because I, you know, it's not that it's not this Maker's Mark. That's with, for sure. Yeah, with, with the, the marsh notes you were going. Yeah, at with that butterscotchy yeah. maple marshmallowy for me. A little bit of dates was coming through on that tonight. Mm -hmm. Trenton, get now get back into explaining that bottle a little bit. This comes out of uh, yeah. Glens Creek Distillery. David's the master distiller over there. Head distiller doesn't like to be called master distiller. My apologies, David. Head distiller. Uh, they have a wonderful group over there. They're in the old, the old, old crow yep. area. If you're ever around the Bourbon Trail in Kentucky, you have got to stop there. It's a very unique and wonderful experience to have a tasting. A lot of times you do your tastings with David. They have some great, great products. And I'm, I'm happy too, Trent. And I know you don't really surf a lot on YouTube like I do with different channels yeah. that I like. But we now have the Bourbon Judge is, is extremely high on the OCD products coming out of Glens Creek. Um, he, I'm sure he probably, because we're good friends, I'm sure he went over there because we spoke very highly of them. Because they're not really known. They're not known. Their distribution's a little bit narrow. Uh, so the premium, though, they, David only has that once in a while. So if you're ever at Glens Creek Distillery, he probably should always have the OCD5, the regular release, but the premium he doesn't always have available. Now, you're going to have to, I'm going to try to do the best I can to say this, but when they dump the barrels, there's always a little bit left in the bottom of the OCD5. So when he, ha he, he keeps redumping the little bit that's in the barrels 
into other barrels that are full. And then he, <laughs> I'm going to let you explain. We should <clears throat> yeah, we should. We just have done here. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I don't want to misquote. So mm -hmm. I don't really fully remember the process. Yeah. I just know that it's darn good, whatever it is. <laughs> and one thing I will say, it's, it's a distillery that is like maybe three to five people. So, and this isn't available, this isn't a show for this isn't available all the time. So if you could, please don't bombard them with calls and emails yeah. and stuff. Just asking for this, go there, check out the distillery. It's not a, it's, and I, we, we love David. It's not like a castle and key. It's not a Jim beam. It's not a, it's mm -hmm. not a, it's not set up to be a tourist destination. It's set up to see, this is how we make our stuff. This is how a distillery runs when it's not backed by millions and millions of dollars from like a Suntory or a Campari right. or a large corporation. I love that. And it's really cool to see. He built a lot of his own equipment. He's yeah. a former welder. Yeah. And it, it's, built it's, their own it's, it's a really cool experience. Great. Uh, they're on a very historic site. Um, they do tours from, from what I can remember. We didn't get the chance to go on it, but it's old dilapidated buildings and it's old equipment and everything. Really cool. It's right down the street from um, Castle and Key. I, can't. For, I think you're forgetting to mention what OCD stands for. Oh, um, OCD, it, there's a kind of a double entendre, right? So it's Old Crow Distillery, number five. That's where they... And that's that's where they are currently located in the Old Old Crow Distillery. I think number five was their mash bill, if I'm, if yeah, I'm so. remembering correctly. Or uh, Old Cranky Dave, as he, <laughs> as he <laughs> which is what he called himself. Um, so it, it's a really cool experience. I think when we bought this, it was like... 80 bucks or something i would pay that all day and then some uh for something like this but these are all great too i mean it was this was a very challenging uh bracket i'm interested to see what my oh, yeah. upset was and i'm also kind of monday show upset. is gonna be very very interesting for sure <laughs> yeah oh well, um john f kennedy uh the distillery is on is in the ruins of the old crow distillery that's a great Correct. way to put it yeah it's it's very like it's there's great. buildings falling down and it's yeah. it's it's a cool experience you it's can go and get stop. tastings and everything it's a great dave's stop. a great guy and he makes some really killer stuff not yeah. just not just the premium no. the regular oc yeah. number five cafe Olay. Cafe Olay. he's yes. got he's got, he's got some uh rice key i think is what yeah. they call it um and just a ton of other stuff. It's really, it's almost, it. a lot of it reminds me of a single malt. Like that little twangy that you get from like a malty, malty kind of thing. Yeah. This is just like pure ground, coffee grounds with, with okay. like really rich coffee kind of thing and chocolate. And I, that's what I love about it. Yeah. Um, this. Oof. Dude, bro, I, I couldn't believe you had two, two, two Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels up there. Which one was that? Yeah. I didn't have any. I'm looking at Kent now, but I'm, I, I, I got to stop there because I'm very curious where those exited for me. Because that Jack Daniels 12 is is a great bottle. I don't know where that hit the road for me, but we'll find out. And still, that is so good. I think it. I think it just goes to show that you can be a small distillery and still crank out stuff that's going to supersede some other mm -hmm. some other high hitter stuff. Yeah. And ch and taste is subjective, right? Mm -hmm. We love. This and this and this, but this might not have been where your bracket sure. lined it up. Sure. And blinds are wild. Yes, it is. It blinds be. are wild, and they're they're also yeah. a lot of fun. So if <laughs> if you're not sure where you stand on a couple bottles, toss it in a blind. Have yeah. a friend or your wife yeah. or your husband or whoever pour it. Yes. Cousin, nephew, maybe your dog. Yeah. Um, you never done that for me, have you? I don't, I don't think you. Yeah. <laughs> we, we really struggle around here to find the. Uh, no, to she's find done the that stuff. for me. She's done it for me a lot. Proof on the Jack Daniels was one twenty seven point nine, so kind of on the lower end of Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs. Uh, we are not doing a raffle tonight, just because the winners are getting. We're giving away six bottles f for the month for the raffle winners. Um, so we don't have we don't have anything else to give out for for raffles and stuff. But stay tuned uh, in April. We might be giving away some. Some interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, so many good people on there. I mean, yeah, so yeah, many yeah. good people on the chat there. I just been strolling through the names. Really good people. Um, oh, somebody asked about this is a barrel pick. I would, I would do some filthy things <laughs> to do a barrel pick of OCD five premium. That's worse. I don't. I, I don't think that is even an option. Um, I know we had talked today before about doing an OCD number five pick, which. You know, also very, very good. Yeah, I would love to do so that. So I, I don't know if Dave's watching. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's even a well, possibility. If Bucky's, this is very if limited. Bucky's on here and he's involved, then he Dave knows what's going on. I'll That's true. That. But I this don't know is, if he's watching or not, but he knows. This, this is very, 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 very limited. So don't keep an eye out just for this. Keep an eye out on our other, other products. Yeah. Also, if you can find a Celerage or a Jack Daniels, a really wild turkey rare breed or yeah. you know, Jack Daniels. Yeah, Star our Star final four. 100% Shelf, Trenton. Two shelfers in the yeah. last in the last. In couple the final rounds. four, two shelfers. Wild turkey that, rare breed and Jack breed. Daniels single barrel barrel proof. I, I think that speaks wonders. Really I'm going to be very interested to see where I knocked out Forster 1924. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't love it, from what I recall. Anyway, I think it was a fresh... <laughs> I think it was a fr I need some pizza. I think it was a fresh crack when we did the video, but it just wasn't something that stood out. Mm -hmm. And I went back to it a couple of days later, and I was like, this mm -hmm. is a, this is solid, but for the price point mm -hmm. and the age statement, yeah, kind of a toss-up. Yeah. A um, couple more things before we uh, hop off. Uh, Miracle Martinez, two dollars. Happy Easter and cheers. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Easter to you as well. Yeah. Uh, Robert Stein. Okay, mm -hmm. now you need to do a winner barrel pick. Make it happen. All good. Show everyone. <laughs> Make it happen. Robert, man, I would love to do a barrel pick yeah, of this. I'm telling you, right? Um, let's see. Are we down? No, the whole tournament was not an ad for OC. No. no, 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 That's no, not no, not 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 in a million oh. years. No. Bucky says that Dave's watching. No, oh, <laughs> hi Dave. Hi Dave. Dave is like my age, so he probably doesn't even know how to comment like I wouldn't either. So that's okay. Trust that's me, okay. we we get several emails a week from distilleries and ad companies for ads, and we just don't do them because this no. is all about fun. It's not about yep. making a quick buck trying well, to sell you guys a distillery. No. We're going to tell you how we no. feel about it, and yep. we also don't really care to sell you an app or like a mobile game or Timu or t some ball shaver or a t-shirt or something. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of those for Manscaped. I do. That's just uh, they look at the demographics for whiskey, um, and that's the biotics. Did we ever get one from Biotics? What? No, they don't look at me. Like, do you really think I need a manscaped uh, thing? Come on, man. Face creams. It's just it's weird stuff, man. We, um, just, uh, we just don't have time for that anyways. No. That's just the way it is. Oh, did you get that one? No. Uh, Robert Mark Smith. Hi, guys. I had cancer removed from my colon in August, and you guys supported me. I'm still here. Thank you all. Man, God bless you, buddy. I, I just, uh, man. I feel for you, brother. I have prayers to you, and I hope that your health continues to improve and you get better every single day. Cancer, man, it's just a rough thing. It's touched my brother and I's life. I was never mentioned on the show, but my sister passed away of cancer in 1995. She was a year older than me, and she left behind two children. And that's when I said about my ex-brother-in-law living in Idaho. He's not really an ex. He was, he was married to my sister when she passed away. So cancer touches everybody in some form or fashion in our families. And, man, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that your health continues to improve. Thank you, Robert. I'm glad, I'm glad they found it. I'm glad they were able Absolutely. to take it out and you're, and you're doing well. Man. Tyler ba Baslin, I may have lost this, but made potty training and bath time for my two-year-old a lot better. <laughs> Plus, go. he made it to the toilet for the first time. That is awesome. Hey, all right. Said, Hit that applause button yeah, on that, on that soundboard that. there for the potty time. Do we get a tummy time? <laughs> uh, <do> <laughs> uh, that, that's awesome. Thanks for joining. Mm -hmm. uh, C923, great pour. Uh, good consolation prize pour for you, Tyler. Thank you. Uh, Tommy Boy, you know who's the winner? The person drinking a little something that they enjoy. Everyone's a winner. Oh, All right, wow. there you go. That's the put best. that on a shirt. There you go. That's the best statement. That's that's what it's all about. Drink what you like, the way you like it. We will forever be touting that phrase. Uh, Mindstorm, hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Five dollars. This is my first uh, year getting to see Bourbon Madness with SLB. This was a lot of fun, even if I lost. <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun, and I, I think I would, I would, if I was on your side, not being, you know, on this side of the camera, I think it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's it cool is. to interact with everybody after the fact, since yeah. we're not reading comments or anything. But yeah, it's it's cool. Mm -hmm. um, J and M Muddy Magneteers. Mm -hmm. uh, will the app be free? Donations. Um, oh. Uh, so only, only Drams, our app is free. Uh, we do monthly raffle giveaways so that we can continue development. This month we're giving away an Old Rip 10. Uh, that is ending April 1st. So if you want a chance to win an Old Rip 10, check out the app. 
Um, you can consider supporting the app through a tier, or um, I'll, I'm sending out <clears throat> an email tomorrow with, <clears throat> yikes, instructions on how you can be entered in that raffle. Uh, we're doing that monthly too. And after April, we got another old rip 10 coming out too. So, mm -hmm. um, man, these keep coming in, babe. Um, Bucky. Oh, $5. Fun. Dave is watching. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dave. Um, Hopefully we'll see you again soon sometime. Let's see. Andrew, Andrew, do another raffle and I commit to sending out a nice bottle from my store in San Diego. Anything to help out a good cause. Oh, Andrew, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, we will be definitely doing that again. Yeah. In the fall. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, slbdrinks at gmail.com about that. We'd love to We'd love to take your bottle for a good cause, Andrew. 100% for the children at Riley's Children's Hospital. Uh, Keith P. Nope. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I will get with you about the New Orleans Bourbon Fest. Yeah, he went to it. We were going. That, we were that gonna, had to be a good time. We were going to do something in New Orleans, right? I think this year. Some, I think something Maybe, fell through. Maybe, yeah. Hopefully. But we love, we'd love to go. That'd be cool. I've never been. Up. Michelle, you've been, right? Huh? Couple times, yeah. yeah. Nope. Um, Joram Bandman, uh, when are y'all sending out the patron blind box? Blind boxes are going to be going out uh, early May, I believe, or no, end of April, okay. end of April, so a couple weeks, uh, three three to four weeks about then. Uh, BMC five dollars biggest bust. I think it's C nine twenty three. You guys had it as one of the best of twenty twenty three. Thanks, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> well, Man, so is that what he's saying? He didn't like it. That's one of those things about blinds. You know, you you get into it and. Apparently, I had a, a a weird round. Oh, is that what he's saying? That you so, kicked it out? I, I, I don't know he, what, I was what trying that, to say. I don't know what happened like with it. that. It was, in, it was in my final four, and I loved it. We'll find out where that landed for me on Monday. I'm excited to see. Yeah. Uh, Andy Hill. Uh, Andy Hill. Brackets don't matter, but friends do. This channel and the people that make it happen right. feel like friends. As always, good luck and good vibes. Yeah. Have. I uh, hope you have continued success. Thank you, Andy. Yeah. Very true. This. Yeah. I mean, it's all about family and friends. It's all about sharing and and caring. Really. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's just what the whiskey community is all about, or should be all about, right? Should be. Oh, no. Carlos. There you go, my man. Uh, Carlos, how can you support the app raffle without having the app? Carlos, I'll make a post in uh, the Discord um, tonight if I remember if I remember once I get home uh, so that everybody can have a chance. Last but not least, I'll let you go out on a good note with this one. Carl Bartz, God bless the whole SLB family and community. We <laughs> certainly appreciate that. Cancer touches us all at some point, and that's a fact. Prayers for us all to enjoy our family and friends and enjoy life with our loved ones while we are blessed with them. And I couldn't have said that Very well said. better than that right there. Very well said. Yeah. What a good 100%. note to end on. Yep. All right, guys. <clears throat> thanks. I, I, I tell you what, thanks for joining us this evening for the live stream. You all just kill us every time we have a live stream. It's just so much fun. It really, really is. We had a great time. You know, during this, and, I, did and honey, I, I was pretty much low stress, wasn't I? I wasn't too bad this year. I really wasn't, I don't think. Was I? You're looking at me funny. I don't think I was. But Were you more stressed than he was, Mom? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a good time doing this, and we'll make it We'll make it better next year. We'll, we'll, we'll add some improvements, as were suggested to us tonight, and we certainly appreciate those suggestions. And we might even add that uh, loser's bracket in there, too, to make it a little bit more interesting for next year. we got a lot of cool plans for next yeah. year already, so, so stay tuned for yeah, that. I can't wait. And I should probably get back there so I can start yeah. uh, stop the thing. Uh, you should. You should. Trenton, thanks for being up here tonight. Let's all give that big applause button for Trenton this evening. Woo! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was in rare form like always. It's just uh, kind of like always. All right, guys, uh, I've been touched this evening. Uh, Bottle and Bond Don, God bless you, buddy, in your time of need, losing your mother. Uh, God bless you, buddy, honestly. And, and those that we spoke about today, uh, struggling with different diseases and cancer and everything else, you know, the world is full of trials and hardships, which should tell us all every day to try to be kind. Do your best. I mean, we're not perfect. We're not going to have perfect days, but try to be kind to people. You never know what they're going through. You just don't. You don't know what they're going through. So, all right, everybody. Thanks so much. We had a, a fantastic time. We'll see you Monday. Kent's going to drill us. I'm, he's going to he's going to grill us with, with all this stuff that we have no idea about with the tournament. So don't miss that show on Monday. Have a great night and even a better weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.